Using CloudDrop from Mansa Systems, you can drastically reduce the cost of Salesforce file storage. You can increase individual file size limits from 2 megs to unlimited, attach files to any Salesforce standard or custom object, enjoy public versus private, versioning, and folder hierarchies, move files between folders or Salesforce objects, and use CloudDrop integration with customer and partner portals. To upload CloudDrop files, you must install and configure CloudDrop and add the CloudDrop Visual Force page to each standard and custom objects page layout on which you want to attach CloudDrop files. Then, select a record whose page layout includes CloudDrop. Scroll to the CloudDrop related list. Click New Document to create a CloudDrop file. The File Edit dialog opens for you to choose the file you want to upload. This dialog includes a version name text field for you to enter any versioning text your organization uses. The version is calculated automatically, incrementing each time you upload a new version. You can include keywords to help sort and search for the file. Separate them with commas. Select Public for the access type if you want the file to be accessible to those outside of your Salesforce org. Leave the access type set to private if the file will only be accessed by your org. Optionally, add a description of the file. Any other fields such as doc type and doc subtype that you have defined for your CloudDrop files and included on this page layout when you set up CloudDrop are also shown here. Click Upload once you have completed the file details. From the CloudDrop file detail page, you can download the file or open it for viewing. Navigate up through the folders in the path to the file, edit the CloudDrop file details, upload a new version, view the record details with the Salesforce Classic view, move or copy the file to a different record, and generate a temporary URL to share the file. View the CloudDrop file by clicking the View link. You will be prompted to open or save the file. The way the Open Save As prompt looks varies with each browser. Alternately, you can use the Click to View file link on the file details to access this prompt. From the CloudDrop file detail page, click Classic View to see the standard Salesforce view of the CloudDrop record. From the CloudDrop file detail page, Clicking Edit will allow you to edit the file description, version name, keywords, and any custom fields you have added to your CloudDrop file detail page layout. CloudDrop natively manages versioning. From the file detail page of a CloudDrop file, click Upload New Version and browse to the updated version of the file you want to load. Add the details for the new version. Click Update. The version number is automatically updated when you add a new version. To view versions of a CloudDrop file, navigate to the page. See the versions in its related list. You can create an unlimited number of levels of nested folders to sort and manage CloudDrop files. On the CloudDrop tab, select New Folder. Enter the name and a description for the folder. Once created, CloudDrop folders look like buttons rather than links. You can create any number of subfolders within a CloudDrop folder. With a parent folder open, Click New Folder. Give the subfolder a name and description, just as you would any folder. Click Save. To view the contents of a folder or subfolder, click the name of the folder. Click Previous to reach the file or folder one level up. Click Go to Root to go to the root folder of the current folder. You can move or copy a CloudDrop file to another Salesforce record. Click Move Copy. Select the object where you want to move or copy the CloudDrop file. Search for the record.
Click Move or Copy in the Action column beside the folder path where you want to move or copy the file. You'll be prompted to confirm. You will be redirected to the record where you just moved or copied the CloudDrop file. If you moved or copied it into a subfolder, you will need to navigate to that subfolder to see it. You can generate a temporary URL to send for the CloudDrop file that the recipient can use to view or save the file with. On the File Details page, click Temp URL. The CloudDrop Temporary URL Generator dialog opens. If you want the temp URL to expire, enter an integer, then select the time unit from the drop-down. Click Generate Temp URL. This can be copied from the dialog. The temp URL will work until the defined expiration period has passed. With the Send Bulk Email option, you can send cloud drops as email attachments using templates. You can write the subject and body yourself, or for versions 1.41 and higher, you can select from existing templates. When you click Send Bulk Email on the Cloud Drop tab, you can select whether to send the email to a contact or lead record and then look up the contact or lead. You can select from the objects you have configured to choose an attachment. Select Cloud Drop from the Attachment drop-down. From the resulting dialog, select some Cloud Drop file and click the Add button. When you are finished building the Cloud Drop email, click Send. For more information on Mansa Systems Cloud Drop or to download it from the App Exchange, use the following link. You can contact Mansa Systems at the email and phone number below.